And we are live. This is Jamie Shaw, and I have changed my format a little bit. This is uh, Jamie Shaw's marketing show. So, um, on the panel, I have Miss Terry Miller. She is my partner in business and my accountability partner. And Terry can say hi if she wants to. Hello, everybody. And then we have our special guest, Mr. Chris Pyros. Or correct me if I said your name wrong, Chris. So <laughs> that we are live in the chat. Hopefully, Katie can let me know if she can see us. But tonight, I want to talk. I want to start out the call by talking about why we make excuses. You know, and I got my my notes out like Katie does. So I know. So, um, you know, we all make excuses for everything we do, you know, um, make excuses, but, you know, I made excuses when I was in a previous company because I put in a long hours every day, I, you know, I got a nine hour day and a three hour round trip drive, so that's a 12 hour day every day, I made the excuse because I was tired from the drive, you know, and I didn't have the money to buy all the products to go all in, because that was the thing at that company, to go all in, um, I didn't have the money to attend events, you know. Um, that was another excuse. You know, I made excuses because I didn't have a sponsor that helped me. I got left out on an island, you know, and basically I was making an excuse not to do the work because I didn't have nobody to help me. I didn't have nobody to ask questions to. Uh, I made the excuse that I was scared to do videos because, well, for one, I didn't know how to do the videos. So instead of just jumping in and doing them, I made the excuse that I was scared to do videos. Now, these were all excuses that we make up in our mind, that I make up in my mind, you know, and every one of us do it. And the easiest way to overcome our excuses, you know, is to start learning what we need to learn, you know, start investing in ourselves, you know, join, find a mentor that you resonate with, and uh, find a team and a community that you can, that can help you and you can ask questions to, you know, because... Everybody thinks, oh, I don't have a sponsor to help me and hold my hand, you know. A sponsor is not, or a mentor, sponsor or mentor, either one, is not to hold your hand. They're to guide you and correct you when you're having struggles or to, you know, if you got a problem with your blog or a, a problem with something else, you know, you're going to funnelize or for, to get on with you and help you correct that problem or, you know, if you're, skewing off one direction and you need to go this direction, they help you course correct under the right direction. And that's what a mentor and a sponsor is for. They're not there to do the work for you. And other things you can do to start cha changing, you know, your excuse pattern is start attending events, webinars, and hangouts. You know, and start investing in yourself. You know, buy products you can afford to get into and start developing your mindset and, you know, attend community workshops, you know, like we have a workshop on Saturday night, attend them, you know, so you can help change, you know, your outcome. If you don't invest in yourself, then the same thing's going to happen. You're, nothing's going to happen. We all have a set amount of time on this earth, and if we waste our time making excuses, then we're not never going to accomplish anything. And I have a question for you all. I'll get to it here in a second. Um, we have to be who we're born to be in our lives. And the question I have to ask you is, do you know where the richest place in the world is? Anybody on the panel? Hmm. The richest place? Heaven, maybe. <laughs> okay, cool. The richest place on in the world are the cemeteries. Why? Because the, they're filled with ideas that were never imagined. They're filled with companies that were never started. They're filled with singers that never sang. They're filled with writers that never wrote. And they're filled with investors that never invented, or inventors that never invented. They all made excuses as to why they could not succeed. Is that going to be your excuse that you're afraid to succeed? You know, 
Yeah. I made up my mind, you know, two years ago that I had no more excuses. I needed to get in and do this business, and I needed to invest in myself, you know. And I went to an event. I went to an event in Nashville, and I met your own Pat Patterson, and he reached, you know, he helped me out, told me to start doing videos. I uh, invited me to Wisdom Wednesday. That's where I met Katie and Dave Renica, and uh, you know. They had the same advice for me, you know. Why are you afraid to do videos? Just do them, you know. Basically, they were telling me you're making excuses. Just quit making excuses and start doing it. So that's what I did, you know. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I started attending webinars. I started attending Google Hangouts. I started attending uh, team calls, you know, stuff like that. I started interacting in the in the chat on calls, and I know I grew into the person I am today. You know, a year ago. I would have never been on my own hangout. They made a challenge to us a couple months ago to start our own hangouts. Myself and Sonia Harris started our own hangouts, and you know, I challenge anybody out there that wants to get out in front of people, start doing your own hangout. Um, hopefully, I have some people in the chat that I invited. Uh, a friend of mine that I've been chatting with online, her name is uh, Buffy Chester. Hopefully she's on the Hangout, you know. If she is, pick the login button on the, ch on the chat down below and log in with your Facebook your password or Twitter or whatever, you know, social media site that you want to use and log in. Start chatting with everybody. Chris, you hey, make an awful Chris, lot of mute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm pretty much done. You know, tonight I brought Chris on to do blogging. The two weeks been about blogging. I think it started Saturday night. You know, in our workshop we started about blogging. Monday night was about blogging. Last night was about blogging. So we're going to continue on that path, and Chris is going to teach us how to how he gets his blog content and how he sets up his blog. So. Without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you, Chris, and I'm going to start taking notes. <laughs> right, Jamie, you're the blogging king, man. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I will show you exactly what I do. You know how I do it. Now, after watching, Jamie, was you on the chat yesterday with Pat when on Wisdom Wednesday? I was on the Hangout, yeah. All right, so it's kind of like now after watching what Pat does, I'm like, damn, what I do is like is like ancient compared to what. It, I mean, I kind of like that, what he does, but then again, you know, I mean, the only thing only I would say about doing it the way Pat does it, and now don't get me wrong, that is a great way to do it. I like writing my own content because it comes from my heart, my words and my mouth versus doing spin writer. Now, that's a great program if you want to get it done in 12 minutes, but I like, you know, because it comes from me, you know what I mean, and that's what I like to do. So, And I like writing, so blogging is my thing. I, I like to write. You know, but uh, I do it a little different. So yeah. I'm actually going to let me see if I could. Uh, I'm the same way. I like my blog to be my own voice, not something. Right. So. Exactly right. All right. So I'm going to let me see. I gotta share my screen here. Just bear with me for a second here. Uh, screen share. All right. Entire screen. Uh, you can see my screen, right? You can see. Oops, one second. Oops. I'm clicking like 50,000 things. <laughs> uh, one second. How many tabs uh, you got? You can, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what it is. I'm going from, yeah, just a good, uh, many windows different open. Uh, you can see my blog post, right? Like my, I am on a Yeah. Uh, you can see that. All right, so let me go to. Stumble upon now, and I'll show you. All right, so here's Stumble upon. Now, here's where they changed it, Jamie. See, all this up here, this was all never here. And I don't know if there's a way to get that off, but it really doesn't matter. Because um, there used to be a whole page. Now they make it a half page. This is something that they just changed. So here's, uh, well, actually, let me save this because this is what I'm going to use. But I'm going to show you what I do. All right, so let's go to. I'm going to start from the beginning show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm on, my, I'm on marketing, but I want to, 
I want to I want to sign out and come. Well, I don't know if I should sign out. No, I won't sign out. All right, over here is where you have on on StumbleUpon. Once you sign in, here's where you have all your different areas where you want to search for content. You know, internet tools, computers. I use those too. Um, but I concentrate on marketing. So once I hit marketing, it's going to give me some content. And what it's going to give me is, I'll show you what it what it did give me. You just click stumble upon, and it gives you different different areas of marketing. So hold on one hmm. second. So let me open the tab that I'm on. So Chris, stumble upon is something separate. Yeah, it's separate or well, separate from what do you mean? Uh, our uh, our homepage at MLSP. Yeah. Oh right, right. It's mm -hmm. like Google, like you know, like okay. uh, it's, it's just, just a different platform, platform, right? Mm -hmm. That you can find content. Double so what? The right? blogging community where a yep. bunch of bloggers put their their content out there. So. Right, Great. right. So let's say I want to do something on emails, like I got right here. You can see this, right? Yes. All right, so what I do is, all right, so it gives, let me see, there's one, there's one thing, two things, three things. I'm going to give you an idea. So use five, four, five. This is a great one to, that I can show you guys. So what I do, let's say, you know, his, his is five sales email mistakes, five sales Email mistakes guaranteed to make your pro prospect click delete. Oh, fine, right here. So basically, what this is is emails that will make your prospects click delete. So now, what I would do is I'm going to change this up. I start with the headline. Okay, so it's five sales email mistakes guaranteed to make your prospects click delete. So let's see. I would go. Let me think about this for a second. How I would write this? So five sales. Okay. Five, I would probably go five email mistakes um, to make your prospects click delete. No, that's still the same. Five email mistakes. It always takes me a while, and this is why I do it this way, but it, it, it's, uh, it's easier for me. Five email mistakes to make prospects click delete. So let me see if I can how I can change this. Five email mistakes to make your prospects delete. Five so sales, I, sales that will make your prospects run away. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. A five spec, five sales. I think I'm crazy over here. Five sales email mistakes. It's kind of confusing me here. Five sales email mistakes, guaranteed to make make your prospects leave. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I take, okay. I would take there the sales go. out of it. I would take the sales out of it and say five. Yeah. Emails make your prospects run away. So. Right. Yeah. Something like that. All right. So here we go. Let me write it down. Five. Email mistakes guaranteed guaranteed to make I'll put to make prospects to make prospects leave. So, so I'll leave that. All right. So now I'm going to play with this headline. Okay. So now I'm going to take this headline. Copy and paste it, and then I'm going to go to cold schedule. All right, and cold schedule is that if for you that don't know, it's, it shows you how to write better headlines. It gives you ideas of the best headlines that are going to rank better in Google. So I just made that headline up. So I don't know if it's good. So I'm going to put it like this. It's probably going to tell me too much, too much content. I'm going to see what it tells me. I'm always trying to look for an A plus. And I'll show you that. Okay, so that's a 76 score. And there we go. Bam! First shot. <laughs> okay. First shot. So that's a great headline. Okay, so now I'm going to use the headline. So I don't have to play with that. That helps. So that's not, there's the headline. So it's a little different from what, you, what was actually read. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go back to my content. Okay, okay so here's... Here's uh, the head, pretty much the headline. Okay, so I'm going to copy this exactly. In one second. All right, and I'm going to put it in here. Okay. 
So let's say this is like number. Oh, I can probably say intro. Is it the intro? Um, intro. Maybe I might put it like this and then make this a little bigger. And I'm glad you showed me that size thing, uh, Jamie, last night because I was so crazy on how to do that. All right, so intro. All right, so let's start with the intro. So this is what I would do. Okay. Um, so let's say I'm going to go through it word, I mean, uh, paragraph by paragraph is how I change it so it's different. So it may say, how many sales emails do you get each day? So let's see. So I would say, uh, how many sales emails do you get each day? Um, all right, so let me think about this. How would I write this? How many sales emails do you get each day? Um, how many sales emails do you get each day? How many sales emails? All right, I can. Uh, how many sales? All right, how many sales emails do you normally get? Oops. Normally get. I'm going to change this word every day. Okay, so now it's it's different. For most businesses, people for most business people, the first activity of the day is sifting through their inbox. So right? now I'm going to. So what I'll do is I'll take out four. I'm going to make that most. Alright, and I'm not I'm gonna take out business. Okay. This most people okay. I'm gonna take all that out. Most people sift. Oh, it doesn't have to be, have to be capital. Sift. It says sifting. I'm going to put sift through their most sift. Most people sift their they I'm going to take out the though through sift their email inbox and typically typically decide. So you see, I'm changing everything up. Decide. I'm gonna take out which it might be wrong English. I don't know, but I'm gonna put I, the way I just the way I talk. I'm gonna put what what messages to respond to. Okay, I'll leave that to in which ones. Okay, which ones. Okay, take out all that crap. Which ones? The trash. Okay, most people sift their email box and typically decide what messages to respond to and which one to track. Now, I just made that all different from what it was. Your goal as a sales rep should always be to give your buyer a reason to hold off on clicking delete. Um, okay. Uh, sure. Make your goal. I'm gonna put instead of your. I'm gonna put make it. Make it your goal as I'm gonna take out sales as a business person. So you see what I'm doing? I'm changing it as a business person. Wait. Yeah. Make it your goal as a business person to give. All right, I'm going to take out all this. To give your buyer a reason to not. Okay, is that a hold off? To not click. Delete and also 
Right, and so make sure they don't make one. Of, so make sure you don't make one of these common mistakes. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a period here, and I'm going to take out all this. Okay, and said so it says don't. I'm going to put do not. Do not make. these common mistakes. All right, so now I created my own my own blog or my own post with that. I typically change all the words up. So now, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to put an image. I put an image under every paragraph. Okay, so I'm going to put email mistake. Now, some people, and I'll throw this out there, and Jamie, you know, because I went over that with you, most people will say, oh, this is, um, you're stealing other people's images, copyrighted, whatever. Well, you know what? If it doesn't say the person's e email or anything on it, okay, here's a good one right here. Okay. Yeah, that's Nobody, what I to say. If, they know, don't have, if they don't have a web address on there or somebody's right. name on it, then use it. Right, right. Now I have a choice of that one. Now, let me see another one here. That's six email mistakes. Fourteen. I'm not doing fourteen. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one. So email save image. Email mistakes. Um let me put hangout. I got so many images. Email mistake images. Or Wait a minute, I can do this. Oh, shoot. Oh, one second. I think I can copy and paste it. Let me see if I can open it up. All right, that's not going to work. Okay, so. Oh, I've already saved it. All right, copy image. Let me see if I can do it this way. Makes it easier. But then I'm going to put the image. Hey, bam! There we go. All right, so there we go. So now I got that in there. Oops, I'm gonna make it a little smaller so I can navigate. So I'll leave it like that, and then I'll come down. And now I'm gonna do paragraph number two. Well, number one because that was the intro. So now I'm going to take this. This is number one. Take that one. Go back. And then I'm going to put this in here. Okay. All right. So now we got number one. Normally, wait, let me see this for a second. Intro. All right. So what I got to do here is. One more thing here. All right. Um, I'm going to put another image right here. People love images, so images are awesome, man. You've got to put, if you put images. Uh, go back to Google. Where was I? All right. Back to Google. And I'm going to look for, I uh, here, I can, and that one's too small. Look for another one here. I, I I load up my content with a lot of images. Um, all right, um, can do's and don'ts. Okay, there's one. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. All right, so I'm gonna copy that image. Go back. Oops. Back and then I'm going to put this in here. All right, and then we're going to center it. And then I'm going to can't make this one a little larger. Judge, you guys get the idea. That one's a little bit too small, but I always start off like that. And then I have the intro, email mistakes, and now we're going to number one. Okay, so now, um. 
I'll switch this up. So I won't have to go into it because you know exactly what I did on the first one. So I'll take this. Well, let me show you this. I'll take this uh, subly, sub, I can never say that word, subly insult your prospect. Um, so let me read what this is about. There's nothing quite like getting on your prospect's bad sides by telling them they suck. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so now you see what this headline is, this subly insult your project. I'll put, I'll take that out and I'll put don't, uh, don't insult your prospects. Or I might even take that out, don't insult your visitors. I mean, you can make it whatever you want. I mean, prospects is good, but I'd probably look for another word like prospects. Maybe that might not be the best one, but you get the idea. I'll put a different uh, headline. Okay, so there's nothing quite like getting on your prospects' bad side by telling them that they suck. Um, so what I'm going to put is uh, by telling them, do not get on your, do not get, so I'm going to take this out. Do, oops, do not get on your prospect's bad side by telling them they suck. I don't like that word for some reason, but I'm going to leave it because it's still different. Okay, of course, you'd never come out and say that blatantly. Um, but the, but that's the message. Okay, so you know what? Um, I'm going to take all this out because I don't like it. I'm going to take all that out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to change it to that's the message they're getting when you tell them that they're failing to accomplish their job. That's the message they're getting. When you tell them, when you tell them, okay, I'm going to take out the bat. They're failing to accomplish. Um, what's another word for accomplish, Jamie? What do you think another word is for accomplish? So I would take, I would probably replace that word with something else. I'm trying to think of another word. Um, when they tell them they're failing to accomplish their I'm gonna leave it because it yeah it's still it's still different. Um telling so, they're failing to do their job. Yeah they're failing to accomplish what's another word for accomplish? Do you know right offhand? I don't I don't know right offhand. I just probably change it. Yeah. To, they're failing to do their job. So failing to do to a yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Failing to to do their job. Hey yeah, bam there you go. Just like that. All right, so now what I might do, instead of putting another, uh, let me see. Okay, let me look for something. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and look for another, uh, another action. Check this out, shop early. All right, so I'm going to look, email marketing. All right, so I could use this one. There's no headline on it. Okay. So, but you see how it's not clear? So I won't use that one. I like I like my images nice and crisp and clear. Let me see this one here. Okay. Okay, that one's not bad. Uh, no content on there. So I'll take this image. Come back. And then I will put that in there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, oh, it's already maxed out. Okay. I probably use a different image because it's not all the way. I like my images to pretty much go all the way across. But this one's kind of weird because it's got the white. So I'll leave that. And then now we'll go on to number two. So now I'll come back. Oh, wait a minute. There's, if a prominent, wait, here's a, I'm sorry, there was more content. I didn't see it. So let me grab this content. 
All right, and I, I got an idea what something I want to show you. All right, so instead of whoops, I'm on the wrong page. Where's my? Okay, where's my blog? Did I miss it? Oh, right here. All right, so I got to go back. I'm going to fill this in. This is still number one. All right, now you see how it's in the paragraph here. So instead of putting it all right here, because it makes it hard for people to read if I put it all here. So, oops, one second. One second. Oh, shut up, man. All right. Uh, all right, so now what I do, instead of putting it all together, I'll make it another paragraph because it makes it much easier to read that way. Okay, So I'll put it in another paragraph. In matter of fact, I'm even going to make this a little bigger. Um, I think I go with between 12, 14 font. That's why if you ever read my blog, you see the font's big. <laughs> I don't know. I like, no, I, I like that. Okay, makes it easier to read. Okay, if a prospect legitimately does not have an issue that way, if a prospect legitimately does have an issue that you can solve, cite, okay, if a prospect, uh, okay, I'm going to take legitimately, a prospect really uh, has, if it doesn't have, really has an issue that you could solve uh, all right take out the site the words just come to my mind point point wait if a prospect really has an issue that you can solve point out point out uh, uh, set of specific I might go certain certain examples of how uh, you might be able to oops, might be able to help them. You see, it's all different. Uh, Frame the email as a way to enhance. Okay, so now I will go write the email as a way to instead of enhance, entice. Write the email as a way to entice what the prospect is already achieving not a complete shift away from their broken ineffective strategy. So what I would say is write the email as a way to entice what the prospect is already achieving, but not um, a, let me see, not a, but not a complete shift, but not a, Huge shift away from there. All right, I'm going to take out broken. Not a way to shift their ineffective strategies um, with their content. All right, so see, I changed it all up. So bam. All right, so now that's different. All right, so now I'm going to go down, and we're going to go to three. Okay, so now let me go see what the next headline is. Oops. All right, so be a fake friend, and do you really speak? Mm. All right, so let's start with this headline. Bear with me because I'm using the computer mouse and I hate it. I need a real mouse. <laughs> All right, 
So be a fake friend is the next one. Go back to my blog. And number two. Okay. Be a fake friend. Um, all right, let me read this to understand what it's saying. Be a fake friend. Okay, so now, hello, friend. Do you really expect someone you've never spoken with before? Well, all right, first let me grab this. I'll just put it. I'm not going to grab that stuff up top because it's irrelevant stuff. Let me come back. And then I'm going to put the little dots. And then I'm going to change it. Okay. All right. So let me lodge in this and lodge it first. Um, now, as I said, I do it this way. It does take time. But what I do, let, let's say I had like, uh, yeah, like this one here is on, on this post is only like five or six things on this one that I'm showing you. But I usually try to go all the way to like 30, 40. So let's say this one here, I'll give an example before I even go on. All right, let's say this is three, four, five, okay? Now, I try to make my blog post, which is about 2,000 to 4,000 words. So as you see, this is not going to be 2,000 words. So what I'll do is, for the sake of time, so I don't have to do the same thing again, I'll stumble something else. And I'll look for something else on the on the on the email marketing, another another platform like this, and then I'll change it up again on that and add it, and then I'll add it to here. If it's only five, well, I'll go find another five email marketing mistakes and add that to here, and take every a little bit of everybody else's content and add it to one content. Okay, and that's how I get my two thousand words or more. It's very easy. To get that far, and once you get going, you get addicted, and you just keep writing. I mean, I think my the biggest post I made was four thousand words, and I actually wanted to add more to it. Okay, and I said, no, nope, let me stop. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting too crazy with this. So, okay, so the con the headline is be a fake friend. Um, all right, let me read this first, and let me see what they're talking about here. Do you really expect someone you've never spoken with before? to see the subject line or email intro and then continue reading. No, pretending to know a prospect only serves one purpose, to let the prospect know that the email belongs in the trash. Um, don't, okay, so I might put, I'm assuming I'm right here. Don't, don't, instead of, don't be a fake friend, don't, come off as a fake friend. And I always capitalize the first letters. You know, some people might, but let me look good. I might leave that out for that okay. A friend definitely needs a cap. Don't come off as a fake friend. I might even change that even more. Don't come off as uh, don't come off as as being. Now, Chris, do you do all your blogs this way, or do you ever just? Yup, this is how I do them all. Jimmy. Now, it might take me if I want to get to two thousand words. It might take me a couple of days to work on this. So, what I'll do is every day. I I don't do this all in one day. It's, it's impossible. So, like, if I want to hit two thousand words, I make two thousand words my goal. Okay, because and the reason why is because you're gonna hit every keyword, and Dave said that too. You're going to hit every keyword when you hit 2,000 words or more. Now, you might rank it on the first page with, 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 uh, with less content, and that's okay, but, you want, but people are searching on Google. They're putting in all different kind of uh, ways that they're looking for things. So if you put 2,000 words, you're going to hit damn near every keyword that they're looking for when they're searching. So that's why, you know, that's the golden rule in this business that I'm told, that 2,000 words or more. Oh, well, that's follow cool. me? That's what Ray Higdon says, you know, and right. I, I've never wrote that much. I wrote a couple of blog posts that are that long, but yep. I typically strive for about a thousand words. Right. Well, here's the thing. If you're doing it by your head, head knowledge, and writing that, it's, it, that's almost impossible to do. I'm not right. saying you can't do it, but 
it's hard, and that's why when you said, how do you think of things to say? And a lot of people ask me that question, Jamie. They go, what do you, how do you think about all that stuff to say? You're pretty smart. Like, you know, like no, 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 no. They don't know how I do it, so this is how I do it. I take other people's content and just put it into one blog post. It may be 10 different subjects on bad emails, right? So I'll take the five from this, and then I'll go find another 20, and then do that, and then keep on adding, keep on adding. And it's so easy. Once you start doing it this way, it becomes so easy that you can hit 2,000 words in no time. Um, right. You're not copying their blog posts. You're repurposing their blog it, posts, writing it in your own language, in your own words. So. Exactly. Like SpinWriter. Right. It's the same thing. But I'm doing it, instead of doing it with SpinWriter, where it's doing it with a robot, I'm doing it in my head because I want to talk to my prospect as the way I talk. Right. You know? And I might even put in some lingo that I speak, you know, I mean, some street lingo, because it's me, you know what I mean, and people come to like you because they see that you're different, I, I don't try to be so professional, I try to be professional, but not professional, I mean, just, basically, I talk to my prospects making this blog, as I would talk to you in person, you know what I mean, Jamie, like that, sure. so that, that's, that's, I talk, it's just my language, the way I talk, you know, like I say peace. Some people say cheers like they, you know. I mean, that's just the way I talk, you know. I, I'm not going to be fake, just like this said. I talk to people the way I talk to people in real life. Because um, people can pick up on that if they know you. Like, say, like, you know me, people know me, and they see me make a blog, and they're going to say, no, that's not Chris. That's not the way he talks, okay. I know he wrote that. He copied and pasted that from somewhere. So, no, I do it in my own language, how I talk, okay. And I don't put too much lingo up from the street, but, you know, just the way I talk. So, mm -hmm. see, I already changed this headline, you know, and it says, don't be a fake friend. Don't come up as being, oh, wait, I forgot the A. Yeah, proceed. I just want to ask that question. So. Yep, no problem. Yeah, I know you can chime in anytime you want. All right. So now what I'm going to do is the same thing. So I don't have to go into it, but I would get this content and I'd take it. And it's very easy. So if you read the whole thing, you're going to say, okay, well, how would I reword that? Just take it one line at a time, okay? Do you really expect someone you've never spoken with before to see the subject line or email intro and then continue reading? Okay, so I might say, do you, um, do you and say really? Think of another word for really. Think, do you honestly, see, these just come to me, it's just something I'm strong with. Do you honestly expect someone, uh, Okay, I might take you, you have, never, um, all right, it says spoken, I might say, I might say it this way, it's the way I talk, it might be improper, but, hey. um, but go ahead, yep, yeah. go ahead, Terry, oh, I thought there was a question, <laughs> All right, so now, all right, do you honestly pick someone you have never, no, that doesn't sound right either. You know what I mean? You have. So, Chris. Yeah. Can I ask? Go ahead. Hey, go Chris, ahead, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. You were so, it enough. takes you a couple of days to do these. Yep. It takes a couple days for you to write one. How many yep. do you post a week, well, would you say? Well, right now I haven't been blogging because of all the new changes, and I, and I was just trying to learn how to – I was trying to learn a navigation with MLSP. It's a little different than Kalatu, but not really. But I actually got it now. I worked with Jamie, and Jamie helped me. I just needed to know – all I needed to know was the navigation part, the part where, the thing, where everything is. So it might take me three, four days to write because Are you I there? Lot. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oops. I'm here. Can you, where is everybody? Can you see me? Hey, you're good. I can hear you. Oh, can you see me or no? Yeah, but you're screen sharing me, so. How do I? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I had to, Ask Terry if she can still hear me. She said she she was she couldn't hear me. You there, Terry? All yeah, right. 
She can hear me? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, so I might take... Yes, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, depending on I'm my schedule... Okay. So depending on my schedule, like what I'm doing, I concentrate yep. on this like every night. I'll go and write like... I might do like uh, 1 to 10, and then I'll come and do 10 to 20, <laughs> and then 20 to 30, you know what I mean? Until I got... And then I look at my words. See, that's only... Yes, I got you, Chris. I'm here. Okay. So... I can hear you. Okay. So yes. that, that says... That says uh, 226 words. Okay? So, of course, I get a long ways to go. So I'm not going to spend all night doing this because, you know, you, you get bored and then all of a sudden you get tired and, and then your, your mind just, you know, you, you can't think anymore. You just go stir crazy. So... Like I said, I might do 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 and then come back and write again tomorrow night and go do something else with, with my business. So I'm going to change this all up the same way, right? Okay, now let's say this is all changed up without going through it one by one again. So now I'm going to go find another image. Okay, I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to find something else. Um, Let's see. Uh, we get, I might take. Uh, that was too small. Oh, there we go. All right. Since this is about them leaving and unsubscribing, I'm going to take that image. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and put that in there. Okay, great. Now I gotta make it. My mouse grabs it. I might make it a little smaller. Uh, make sure it's in the center. Okay, and then come back down. So I will continue this the same way. Continue to put in contact. Continue to put in contact. Now, here's what I'll do. Now, let's say that I got it all done. Okay, I got it all done. Of course, you've got to put in your keywords. I'll put email, and I'll give an example, email marketing. And what this is, if for those of you who don't know, is that what, the key, what these keywords are, are what people, what they would be typing in, okay, to find this on Google, like they're making mistakes. Okay, email marketing, I might go, the next one I might go, email marketing. Mistakes. Um, uh, and then I might put marketing, marketing, marketing mistakes. Uh, marketing, uh, marketing mistakes. People make. Okay. So basically, what people are going to be looking for when they're searching for stuff about email marketing mistakes, something like that. And then I'll continue to put another maybe three or four more. You know. So that would be the keywords. Okay. Now here's the fun part. Okay. So now I got. Let's say I get this all done. I got like 30 things, and it's. Uh, and it says 2,000 words. Now, I might leave it at 2,000, and that's, that's fine and dandy. Or if I really get addicted, I'll start saying, you know what? I'm going to make this even more prettier. I'm going to go another 1,000 words. So I, I put my heart into my blog, and that's why they, you know, a lot of people compliment me on my blog because I, I put a lot of time into it. So let's say that's 2,000, 3,000 words. So now, of course, I'm going to make a category. I might make the category, add new category, um, email marketing. Okay, and that's an add new category. Okay. And then I could also do this. I can put it in marketing too. You know, but if I want to separate it, I'll leave it just like that, email marketing. So when my blog is all done, it's going to be category uh, categorized, whatever, I can't say it. Okay? So if people are looking for marketing content, they're going to go to marketing content. If they're looking for something to do with email, it's going to be easier to find on my blog. So I category, categorize it. There you go. And then 
All right, so now here's the fun part. So now what I do, let's say that's 2,000 words. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this headline, okay, and just because cold schedule says that's a great headline, that honestly, that means crap, okay? It's a good way to start, but you're going to take that headline, and you're going to go to Google, open up another window. You're going to go to Google, and you're going to put that in Google and see what people are putting as headlines. So you can rank on that first page. Even though it might look good to me, it might not look good on Google. I'm going to see what people are putting on Google. There you go. So that's the one that was already done. Um, four cold email mistakes. You, and here's a, here's a key thing right here. I'm uh, just remembering now. All right, now you see all these people? Here's what Google loves, okay? Um, and I learned this through trial now. You see how everybody's got five, five, four? I might come up with, this is what I'll do. I'm going to top everybody. So I might make mine 30 email mistakes, okay? And let's see what happens there, okay? Look, this guy's got 28, right? Well, you know what? Google's going to rank me above him because I got 30, okay? So my 30 is probably going to be right in between here. Um, it's going to be above everybody because Google loves different content and more. Oh, wait, this guy's got 31. Well, let me go down because it's interesting. All right, 28, 20, 31. So he's got 30. Well, you know what? I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to go 40 email mistakes, and I'm going to continue to write more until I got 40 email mistakes, okay, which is going to be, check this out, this is what I'm going to do from here, let me give you an example, um, I'm going to take a little bit of this content, which I did, I'm going to go back to Google, I'm going to look at this guy's stuff, I'm going to take some of his stuff and, and, and implement it in my blog, I'm going to take his stuff, this stuff, this stuff, okay? Okay, I'm going to go, yeah? If you take that and put it in parentheses, it'll tell you the real number you're competing with. And what do you mean? Put this in parentheses? Your keyword, the, yep. your, your title, put it in parentheses. I right mean, here on parentheses, you mean? When you put it in there like that, that's all the web pages that have one of them words in it. So if you put it in parentheses, it tells you everybody you're competing against. Oh, so you mean like this, Jamie, like that? No, pr uh, not parentheses, uh, quotation marks. We'll take, oh, you mean like that? Yep. Okay. Oh, so you taught me something. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so now you hit go. So you're still 24 million, but... Oh, okay. You just taught me something. I didn't even know you can do that. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the way to do it. Now you can also get rid of the quotations, and you can put in title colon, and I'll tell you how many people are using it in the title. Oh, okay. Well, that's something new. So I didn't know that. Well, you just taught me something. But yeah, so that's what I do. I take every a little bit of content from everybody's stuff. I won't go to the second page. I might if I don't have enough content. Like, say I want to do 40. If I want to do 40, you know, I might take a little bit of each content. Now, now, let me give you another example. Well, I don't even have to go to it. But let's say this guy has 28. Okay? Maybe all 28 are not, ni are, are not nice, but they're not stuff that I would put in there. I might take maybe five. And I've done that. I see 28. I might take only five because I don't like the rest of the stuff he's writing. And then I'll take another five here, another one over here, and I'll make it my own. So it's a combination of everybody's content, with my, and it's all mine now, but it's all different. Okay? And then I, you know, once I'm done and I got the, the right headline, I got all my content, then and only then will I post. And it usually takes, honestly, about maybe, sometimes it's automatic, and sometimes it's going to take, it might take a day or two, you know, or maybe, you know, it depends on Google, um, on them. It might take a, a, sometimes a week, but most of my content gets ranked on the first page 
within, I would say, uh, 24 to 72 hours. You know, and if it's not on first page, then I'll go back and I'll start tweaking it, okay? And then I'll wait another 72 hours to see where it ranks. And if it's still not on first page, I might leave it, okay? And say, wait a minute, let me leave it for a day, uh, like a week or so. And then I'll come back and look at it again and see where it's at. Now, if it's still not posted between the first and second page, then I'm going to go back. I'm going to add more content. And I, uh, what I like about... um. What I like about MLSP is that you can proof you can proofread your stuff and it tells you where you should make your corrections. So I didn't publish it; it would have to be published. But I would come over here and then it's going to tell you over here. I did that today and I'm like, okay, where's the other platform I was using doesn't have that? It's going to tell me, okay, maybe every day is not the word to use. It might say daily, okay, and it might it's going to with an underline. It's going to say every day with an underline when you proofread it. Okay. And it's also going to tell you what errors you made if you, because I'm doing my blogs now, Jamie, and I noticed that I made some typos, <laughs> some mistakes. And I'll give you an example. I was just talking to Katie about this last night. Um, like I say a word like you know how we say a lot. Well, I I always thought it was a l o t, one word, a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I realized that wait a minute, a lot. It's not a lot. So when I did the proofreading, it says a lot meaning two separate words. And I'm like, oh, my God, I always thought it was a lot. You know, it's just things that we get screwed up sometimes. So I'll make sure that it's all right, you know, to, before I post it because I always try to be a perfectionist with my blog. I always, and I take my time. And it's all about what, uh, quality, not quantity. So okay. you know, we're told to blog every day. No, nah, I, I might do maybe – to be honest, maybe three to five blogs a month, okay? But it's quality, and it's going to be ranked on, on, on first page. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It, I'm the same way. I, I don't blog every day. I get right. three a week. Uh, and I'll teach you another little uh, yeah. thing. Go, go to Google, and that and the one that's in the number one slot, take the copy the title. Okay, which is the one? The whole title? Cause this is a yep. click the link. Yeah, that's the one we're doing. All right. If I can, let's see if I can get this to work. Now, uh, go, open, now go open another tab. Oh, wait. Okay. Open link. In tab. Okay. Now type in SEM Rush. Oh, wait. It gave me the same tab. One second. All right, so I'm going to leave that. So you just want me to open up another tab by to, itself. I want you to copy that title, then open another tab and type in SEM Rush. Oh, okay. I know what you're saying. All right, so let me take this, copy, and then go to another tab. All right. SEM, like yep. that? Yep. SEM Rush, all together or separate? All together. All together. Rush. Okay. That's it? Yep. And then hit enter. So what is this, Danny? You're teaching me uh, something here. It's a tool you can use. Now click on SEM Rush. This one, right? Yep. All right, so let me open it in another tab. No, no, but just, just click on it. It'll open right there. Oh, okay. Oops, I already did it. Okay. No, that's all right. All right. All right. Oh, wow. I'm going to now, save this right now. Now paste that title in there. Or you can take their domain from their blog and post in there, too. So The one the one I did? No, the one you copied there. Okay, right there. Yep, now search. Search. Oh, wow, you're teaching me something, Dave. Mm. So what, is, what exactly is this? What, what, what am it's I... going to tell you all the keywords that he's using in his post. Oh... Oh wow, that ooh, excuse me, that's powerful. Sorry, we haven't found any. Is that right? He's not okay. right, but those are keywords that you can use. Like these right here, like an example, it works, right? It works better if you take the um, blog link. Yep. And paste it in there. The blog link. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got to go to his link. Oh, right here. 
Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm in the wrong thing. I'm, I was gonna take this. You want me to take this? No, no, this wasn't the one. It was the other one. Right. Yeah. Where the heck is it now? One second. Right here. The HTTPS. Right here. Accent Technologies. Copy. If you copy that link. Yeah. What the whole thing? No, the whole blog. Post. Oh, that whole thing. I see. What click on that link so it opens up the blog. Post. Oh, okay. Wait. I can't click on it. Click on it. Nope. I'll click on the title. Oh, okay. Okay. Now it's at the very top in the address bar. Copy the whole. Link. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Then now go to SEO SEM Rush and put it in there. Oh wow. That's this is some good stuff, man. Alright, so let's see a rush. And go back up top. Right here, all right? Uh, oops. I would I would go back into the main page. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is I'm assuming dashboard. Yeah, alright. And then put that in here. Paste. Take out this too, right? Take out this or no? The date. Uh, it's prob it was probably in the whole domain, so I'll just leave it there. Leave it? Okay. All right. And then search. See? Wow. Oh, okay. So you're, I'm looking at this, right? Yeah, if you keep scrolling down, it'll tell you all those keywords in there, too. Really? They right there. Right here. I'll tell you all of them because you have to be a member of it. And it's like 200 bucks a month. Yeah. You can get some ideas of what keywords they're using. Wow, Jamie. That's awesome, man. That's great. Instead of, yeah, so I can do the 2000 and then go back and then look at the keyword. So, what is this going to tell me? Basically, what keywords that he's using, but is also, is it also telling me that keywords that I could, that are in my blog or no? No, no, no. It's just his. That just way you. His what your competition is using for keywords because he's using email marketing. There's right. top four keywords there. Those are the top four keywords he's using in that blog post. Wow. I never even heard about this tool. That is awesome. Damn, yeah, I'm going to start using that. That's going to help me big time. You know, because I just put the 2,000 and I just let Google do its job because it's already, the keywords are normally going to be there, but to get right on target, this is going to help me even more. I didn't know you could do that. Wow. Okay. So that that's pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add that too, and I'm gonna start using that because that's gonna help me. So now, once I got it done, of course, you know, you're gonna add. You get the right headline, and um, I go down here. And, um, I don't know too much about all this other stuff. This is on. Oh, I might the featured image. I've already, I already got that. Um, a featured no I don't have a featured image so I might put a featured image okay now there's also a tool I don't even I get a download it I don't have it because I got a new computer so I don't have it there's actually a tool and I, I'll give it to you after I'm done that you know a lot of times that people go and they they put their image on Google or put the content on Google and it comes up with the wrong image okay there's actually a tool that you can put the uh, the, in, uh, the content in, or the link or whatever, it's going to show up with your blog, and it's going to it's going to um, specifically target what your image is and put it on Facebook. Okay, so it can put the right image because people have a lot of problems with that. They'll make a blog and they'll say, "I'm posting it, but it's giving me a crazy image or the wrong image." Oh, on so Facebook? The, yeah, on Facebook. So oh. there's you know, there's a tool. It's like an image tool or uh, something. Some my other computer. I That's have to what get I figured list. out last night how to do that. Oh, you figured that out? Without yeah. That tool. What is it? I did it without that tool. I can when you're done, screenshot. Oh, share really? Body. Yeah. I mean, normally that the image will post for me because the way I write my blog, and I and then there's a way you can click the different images to get the right image. There's a way. Sometimes it Google. Sometimes when you do it on on um, Facebook, it'll give you like four Im images with a with an arrow, and I'll click it. And sometimes I tune it right into the image. But other times, it'll give me, uh, like, okay, let's give you an example. Let's say I was using Kalatu. It will give me the Kalatu um, image of the, the, you know, the, the basic one. And I'm like, okay, well, 
or it might give me MLSP Pro, the, the image that they would use. And I go ahead and I use that tool and I structure that tool to give me the image that I want as my featured image. But if you know a way to do it without it, dude, that would even be, that's even oh, yeah. more, more ammuni um, bleh, ammunition for me. Be prepared to have your mind blown. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. See, I don't know too much about all of this because, uh, like I said, MLP is new to me with all this stuff here. But, I mean, I can probably go ahead and learn, you know, either from you or I'll go and look at the video. But that's pretty much how I make my blog, man, right there. And then once I got it, I, uh, I post it. And, like I said, I wait a day or so to see where I'm ranked. And if it's not ranked within a week, then I know I got to go in and change some stuff up. Right. And right. I'll, I'll, I'll change that headline some more. I'll play with it with code schedule as the, as the initial, and then I'll go back and try to make it different. But you don't want to make – okay, let's say this is that. You don't want to make it too much different because what's going to happen is you're going to rank on another page, which is completely separate from where these people are posted. You know what I mean? You want to be right where they are because right. it'll give you a whole new – it'll give you a whole new – a whole new um, – well, let me go to it and show you what I'm going to find from there. Uh, I'm not on Google. Well, where I was on Google with all the different... Oh, right here, here we go. Google search. Okay, so a sample. Let's say all these people got the same similar headline as me. Now, if you go and change that headline up, well, here's... Let's say I change... I use this headline as an example, okay? And if I go change this all up crazy and change everything... It's going to give me a whole different page, and all these people here are not even going to be on that page. It's going to be a whole new different page. So you want to kind of keep it pretty close to what you have on the pages of other people, what they're, what they're posting, and change up like a word or two. I might take service out and change that up and see if those other people down below me are still ranked below. And if it's not, they're not, I'm going to put service in. I'm going to take the four out, or I'm going to take the competitor out and just change up the words and still tweak it to where I'm on the same page as everyone else. Right. So th this takes time, but that's you know that's the point of this business with me with blogging. I'm a perfectionist, and it has to be the way I want it. And if it's not, then I'm going to go in and tweak it to where it is to where I want it. You know, and and that's pretty much what I do, man. To how do I make my blog post? So a lot of people say, ah, that's a lot of work, but hey, it's the business. If you want to do it this way, or you can do it the way Pat does it, you know. And I might use that tool in the future, but I, I like I said, I don't like using things that are that are that are done by robots, you know. Yeah. That you know that, that as far as that goes, you know. What I mean, I want to write it in my own words because eventually, when you get a big following, people are gonna know that it's fake, you know. What I mean, they're gonna say, "Wait a minute, Chris doesn't talk that way. He doesn't say that word." Or you know, they come they come to know you because you know we all try to friend everybody and become friends, and people know how you talk. Like that's like me going and saying, I give you an example. All right, my uh, fearless leader, Dave. Okay. Um. Uh, can I stop sharing my screen, Dave? Yeah, Dave? Stop yeah, sharing. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hide this. Uh, I want to come back and talk to you guys. So, all right. How come I don't see myself? What am I doing? I'm still screen sharing. Because you're screen sharing. Oh wait a minute. See, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Okay. Bam. All right. Now, video. Whoops. I was there. Yeah, so, okay, let's say, like, all right, let's say I started using Dave, Dave Renneke's line, okay? He likes to say the word cheers, okay? Now, as, as an example, let's say I go make the blog and I say, okay, thanks for reading my post, cheers. You know, they're gonna, wait a minute, that's not the way Chris talks. Chris says peace, <laughs> you know? So I try to make it my own words. I don't like writing somebody else's content, or I mean, I don't like spinning. Spin. I probably won't use that, you know, because it's it's. But if you want to do it like Pat does, that's fine. I mean, you can do it that way. If you're just in a rush, you want to get content out there. But me, I take very uh, great pride in my content, and I want to write it the way I write it and rank it on me because it's more of a satisfaction too. You know what I mean? Knowing that you rank your own content, if you follow me. You know what I mean? Right. No, no one you rank your own, and that's the way I do it. You know. That's, cool. that's, pretty, that's pretty much how I make my blog, man. Just take your time and just write content. You know. And that's a good way. You know, in my opinion, that's a good way to start learning how to get a blog post. To sit there mm -hmm. and write. You can't think of right. what to write. 
that's a good way to do it. Right. Oh, I can't think of a way to write. Like, if I had to write 30, 30 topics, I couldn't do it. I, I just, uh, it's too much. <laughs> some people, you know, uh, use Spinnery Writer because they don't want to write. You know, it's easier to spin an article than sit down and write it. Or, you know, right. or they can't afford to buy a Spin Writer. So, right. you know, they do it. That's a good way for them to start out doing it, you know, until they can get up to where they can afford it. I mean, me, myself, I think of my blog topic, I'll search my titles, and then I'll yep. write from up here and from in here. You know? Right, right. Or, or um, what's the other thing I was going to say? Um, think of your own content. I, mean, I just lost my train of, train that would, of thought. That's a good, you know, idea for me to, you know, copy some content off of another blog and why I'm you write it for yourself. And then, like I said, do it one sentence at a time. It right. takes a while because if you read the whole, like, a paragraph, and you say, well, how can I tweak that? It's going to confuse you, and they're going to get all confused. So I just take one line at a time, period, change that period. I mean, change that line to the period, then go on to the next line and do it. It takes a while, but it's your own fresh content. So at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, like, you know, you've seen my blogs and everybody else has seen my blog. Wow, Chris knows he, he, gets, he writes some good, good posts. Now, I don't go and tell everybody I do it this way, you know, um, because I don't want the world to know that I. Well, I shouldn't say I don't want the world to know. Like, if I do a hangout like this, I tell you, I show you how I do it. But at the end of the day, it's still my own words. You know, they might say, "Oh yeah, you're copying somebody else," but it's not copying because if you use Spin Writer, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Just, I mean, if they want to say copy, well then, if you use Spin Writer, you're copying. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Some people, and they embarrass. Some people just can't spell. You know. And, and and I think Pat's one of them because Pat says he's not a spelling bee. And not to pick on Pat, I love the guy, but some people just can't spell, and they just said, you know what? I don't like blogging because I got to spell. So some people would use a program like that. With me, English and spelling was my best subject in school. Math, I hated, and, and English was my best subject. So I love I love to write. You know, maybe one day I'll write a book like Sonia. <laughs> you know, but, uh, let me share this little trick I learned last night. Yeah, yeah. It looked sure, like yeah. you had some of it going on on uh, on your blog, I noticed. Yeah. I don't know why that does that on me all the time. I know. I hate when I see that. I know people, they, they trying to, not I hate, but I see that happening a lot. That's what I meant to say. I know you have, that happened to you on your last hangout. You were doing yeah. that. So, oh, okay. Yep. If you go in and you activate your jetpack on your blog and turn Which off on publicize. Turn, what is it? Turn off oh, publicize? Turn it on. Publicize. Make sure it's active. Okay. Yep. I got all of them active, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I've seen it on yours. Yep. Uh, you have to do it on each blog post. Um, what was the name of that blog post I did? Uh, can you be successful at blogging? See, I pulled my feature image and everything. Hey, come okay. on. Okay. Nice and pretty. You know, the only thing about that, Jamie, I don't like about that is that it's only pulling out half the image. I like my image to be full, and sometimes that's that's a Facebook problem. And yeah, sometimes but, if you refresh it, it comes out full. Yeah, but a Facebook image can only be 200 by 200. It cannot be any bigger or any smaller. If it's any bigger or any smaller, it will not post to Facebook. Yeah, if you go on my fan page, you see my, my picture is always the full length of what you're showing. It's uh, always the full. Yeah, I don't like those half images. Every time I like, I've tried to post one that's bigger than two hundred by two hundred, it will not post the image. So wow, wow, I yeah. I custom make them. You know, I I'll get an image off Google and I'll go into. Uh, yep. Uh, what the hell's the name of that program? Paint, and I'll yep. resize it down to two hundred by two hundred. But if you activate that and no shit. Yeah. Yeah. How can you be successful with blogging? Uh, Right there, go edit. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have to do this with every blog post. You go to publicize here. Yep. And go your settings. Make sure all these are connected. Yep, I, which I do, yeah. And then edit your details. You have yep. to add each one of them in there and then it'll automatically post to Facebook. As soon as you hit post, right. hit or update. It automatically posts to Facebook, Twitter, and my Google Plus. Yep. See, I never did it on the other one, so that I don't even think that 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 option was there. But over here, I I seen that actually just today. I just seen that what you just said. I'm like, oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. 
property. So this one's already set up. Yeah. When I hit publish on it, it automatically right. posts post to them. And that's what right, I was right. last night, you know. Look at all these I got in draft mode that I've copied over. Wow. Right. Oh. I, yeah, I got a ways to go too, man. <laughs> it's going right. to take me about a, a couple of months or, or more, man, to get all mine in there. You got more blog posts than me. Wow. All right. Let me share. I'm going to share my screen one more time. I want to show you something. And then what you talked about. Katie's messaging me. I can't do two things at one time. <laughs> well, you can uh, over. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to go to my fan page. I want to show you what I was talking about. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah. I, I, I even had a conversation with Dave about the two. And sometimes Facebook doesn't like it. Sorry. So let me click the, let me click the, click you guys off here. I don't like that the great big old long images on my fan page because it distracts from the fan page. That's why I make a custom 200 by 200. That way, right. it's a box and it looks nice and pretty on your fan page. Right, right. Okay, wait. I'm gonna click you off too. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I don't like the way Google changed the fan page up, man. They changed this all up. All right, let me go find. All right, there we go. There's a there's one example right there. See, full image. Okay, um, but that was one I posted today, but I want to show you, let me see if I have one. My computer's going slow. Because, all right, there we go, Jamie. See, well, no, not that one either, but this, I wrote all this stuff in here, but you see what I mean? Email marketing. Oh, and then I see. I got the, you see how I got it? The whole image. All I see is you, so. <laughs> oh, you only see? Oh, I'm not sharing? Nope. What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. You see this one? Oh yeah. That's how I do it. I gotta have I gotta have the whole image. I mean, that's your preference. I mean, I don't like them that big. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah, everybody's different. Some people post a smaller one. I guess I like it that way because it kind of looks, it stands out more than the half. And then this over here, I found out how to take that out. I don't know about MLSP, the other platform. It was different. I don't like this stuff down here. Just little words. Okay? Right. I like just the headline. Okay. So there is a way to take that out. And I always play with it and get that out. It's just it's just too much jumble jumble, you know what I mean? All together. I don't like that. I'll leave the headline and I'll leave this here. Okay. And then I'll keep the image like that. And normally this stuff here is not there. True. Okay. I don't know why this one came out that way, what I was doing. That was when I was having a problem with the other problem. But there's never no link there because all they got to do is click the picture, you know what I mean, and go to it. And let me see if there's another one that's actually cleaner. Well, go ahead and stop sharing your screen, Chris, because we're way yeah, over yeah. time. And I oh, to... okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing thinking... like I did with Sonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know you've got a lot of information and you like yeah, to Yeah, I, I didn't know there was all – I didn't know we were, how far we were over. Yep, let me, let me click off. Terry, you got any questions, but, uh, Chris? Let me cancel this. All right. Oops. Terry, do you got any questions uh, for Chris? She's lagging. <laughs> she must be lagging way behind us. So. Yeah, because when she was talking, I was talking earlier, and I'm like, she was behind me. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a new computer, Terry, okay? <laughs> I think that he answered all that I had. Yeah. Yep, and that's the way to do it, man. That's the way I do it. You know, I mean, you don't have to do it the way I do Can it. Can you hear but me? I, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're lagging way behind us. Yeah. Just I don't know five how minutes to get out. Well, we're going to... We're going to close out the call. You know, we've had a – I really thank Chris for coming on and sharing yeah. with us. You know, you know, I talked about, you know, why you make excuses. So Chris just gave you an easy way how to make – how to get blog content so you don't have to make an excuse not to get blog content no more. Right. And you don't have to blog every day like a lot of us were taught to do, blog every day, 21 days in a row. You know, blogs up a day or a day. I'm oh, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. Time, time out.
not a day, two blog posts a week. If you can get two blog posts up a week, then cool, man. Mm hmm. Katie said she got to run, so Katie's off, so cool. You know, yeah, yeah. But if you can only get two out a week, you know, that's fine and dandy. Um, yeah. Don't worry about it. Terry dropped off, so she must have. Yeah, yeah. It's storming yeah, out. It's a lag from but thanks right, for coming and hanging. Right. Pretty good show tonight, and thanks for having. Yeah, no problem, Jamie. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when you want me to do the Twitter one, I try to sum it up where I can only do it for an hour because sure. I would did it with Sonny with two. But maybe I can split it up. Maybe part one, part two. You know what I mean? When I do the Twitter, sure. and I pick, I'll, I'll I'll prepare my content and get it for an hour. If you want me to do that one week, I'm hoping Dave gets his internet fixed because I was wanting to help. Yeah. Do but. Right. Um, well. Good night, everybody. Uh, come back and see us right, man. Thursday night at yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Monday night is Dave Renicky's 24-Hour Marketing Mastermind at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Wednesday night is Pat Patterson's Wisdom Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, hit all them shows, you know, learn all this stuff for free that you can learn, you know, because we're giving it to you for free, so you might as well learn it. So, That's right. Guys, all later. Good night. All right, James, take care.